please. I don't want them to die. Look smart. Don't be a hero. Heroes and mind collapses are just more bodies that need to be recovered. Are you telling me that my game is going to be over if I make the wrong choice? Oh, we got party. You breathe a sigh of relief as the tight passageway gives way to a small cavern. A group of teens turns and stares at you with annoyance. Yeah, this looks like the type of teens that would hang out down here. Rosalina, however, does not. <laughs> what the hell are you doing in here? What the hell are you doing in here? You creeps? Are you stalking us? Yeah, creeps. It's just said. I just said that, Alexis. If I wanted an echo, I'd yell into the Grand Canyon. Damn, that's the mean girl of the group. Mystical, there's something terrible in this place that wants to be left alone. Get out of here before it leaves its mark on you. If I wanted an echo, I'd yell into the Grand Canyon. What are you, five? What are you guys even doing down here? This is the most miserable place I've been in my entire life. We're gonna make sure you don't hurt yourself. Your dad's looking for you, Rosalina. Chill out, Kanika. They're just teens. Let them have their fun. Remain silent. Ugh. Okay, so we obviously need to get them out of this mine shaft, right? Like, it's probably not safe for them to be in here. If we act like a like an adult and just be like, hey, get out of the mines, they're just gonna stay here. Maybe if we act like creepy, they'll like make fun of us while we're here, right? But then like when we leave, they'll be like, hey, that was creepy as shit. Maybe we should get out of here. Mystical, there's something terrible in this place that wants to be left alone. Get out before it leaves its mark on you. Tell your creepy friend to leave us alone, general store lady. <laughs> Rosalina, your dad's worried sick about you. And if you ask me, he was right to worry. Why the hell would you think hanging out in the old mine would be a good idea? Is the Maxwell place not dangerous enough? Ugh, because no one usually comes in here. Duh. Everyone knows we hang out at the Maxwell place now, so we have to find a new hideout. Which you instantly found, so I guess we have to find an even more secluded place. Just so we can be ourselves. I can't believe your dad sent people to follow you, Rosalina. That's messed up. I think that qualifies as harassment. You're right, Becca. It is messed up. I don't need him telling me where I can be. <laughs> you're trying to fit in with the wrong crowd, my girl. You can at least check in so he knows you're not dead. He loves you and worries about you. He's really not asking for much. Don't you kids have school tomorrow anyways? It's fall break. And we're not kids. We're teens. Uh, cringe. Are those canned strawberry margaritas? Where did you even get those? The teens avoid eye contact. Miles tried to melt into the cavern wall. Is Miles her brother? I thought Miles was her brother. Oh no, I know that isn't you, Miles. It had better not be you. Oh, it is Miles. <laughs> yeah, whatever, it's me. What are you even doing here? Becca's right. Sounds like me you're stalking and harassing and all that. You're supposed to be minding the store. It's not like anyone even comes on Tuesdays. And Mom's there, so it's fine. Yeah, it is her brother. Eyes dart uncomfortably around the cavern as Kanika tears into her brother. Now that there's a brother-sister dynamic going on between this group and Kanika, this, like, allows Kanika to fucking go in on them. And it's not, like, weird, I don't think. It's not fine. It's extremely not fine. Why well, always have to be the responsible one? Do you know what I would give to be as carefree as you? I left school so you would have a chance to live your life, and this is what you're doing with it? What would dad think if he could see all this? Stealing booze from the family store to dick around in an abandoned mine? Oh no, she's trauma dumping. Dad's dead, Kanika. But if he were here, he'd be disappointed you wound up being such a bossy jerk. Who cares if we're having canned margaritas somewhere nobody's supposed to bother us? Alice, don't try and twist this around on your sister. I'd love to help y'all sort this out, but can we maybe do it in not an abandoned coal mine? Can you at least do your underage drinking a little safer? We should just let the kids have their fun. If these kids want to make bad decisions, that's on them. If this is what y'all do for fun around here, maybe the ditchlings were kind of inevitable. No, I'm doing it. I can't, I can't pass that up. <laughs> Look at the way Stella looked at me. Jesus Christ. No, I can't pass up saying that. If this is what y'all do for fun around here, maybe the ditchlings were kind of inevitable. Who's y'all? I'm not having any fun. I'm having the opposite of fun. Oh my god. Stop talking about us like we weren't here. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, I said it to those two? I meant to say that to the kids. Not that they probably knew what a ditchling was. Alexis, don't butt in. I'm trying to make a point. My dad is a foreman in the continuous mining facility, and he says the only reason they stopped using this tunnel is because there wasn't enough coal left. I thought your dad was a charge hand. No, Alexis, he got promoted last month. And he says this place is totally safe and we can hang out there anytime we want. Becca's dad's right, though. Check out how sturdy this place is. Oh my god, you fucking moron. <laughs> the team with the beanie jumps up and slaps the strut on the ceiling. Oh, was that the knocking we heard earlier? One of these days I'll find a real Tommy knocker. Oh my god, Zane, cut it out. Jumping up to hit stuff is extremely 8th grade. Uh, no offense, Rosalina. None taken. The other 8th graders are totally immature. Oh my god. <laughs> Just trying to hang out with the older kids. 
Not like you, Rosalina. You're chill and smart too. This is the worst place I've ever been in my entire life. Why are you fighting me on staying down here? Now I understand the dynamic. I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal. We used to do dangerous stuff all the time and I still don't know. And I still do now. Whoops. I mean, I don't like this particular situation, but with the whole ditch link thing, but outside of that, who are we to tell them where they can and can't hang out? Wow, the sad 20-somethings are fighting. What a surprise. Fuck off, Becca. <laughs> hey, I'm defending you. And I'm not sad. Where'd you get that idea? You're running a clickbaity YouTube channel where you run into the woods chasing nothing is extremely sad. Damn. Nothing like roasted by kids. Anyways, Rosalie isn't going anywhere. She's better off here than at home. Yeah, tell them about where you have to sleep, Rosalina. Been living in the library for the past couple months. Dad says we can't stay at our house. They've got a hot plate and a couple of cots in one of the back rooms. It's actually a pretty sick setup. No, it isn't, Zane. Rosalina deserves better. I mean, that's probably true. I'm sure Oscar has a good reason for that. He's a good guy and he cares about you, Rosalina. He thinks our house is haunted. Oh. Wait, what? It's such a bullshit excuse. I bet he couldn't afford it anymore and he's lying to save face. What a coward. <laughs> Becca is <laughs> ruthless. Becca, I don't think you can, like, say anything about other people's families. Isn't that, like, bullying or something? Shut up, Zane. Back up. He says it's haunted? I can't believe he didn't mention it to me. I could investigate. There's no ghost, Stella. It would be cool if there was, but Becca's right. I just wish he would be honest with me and tell me what's really going on. It's like he doesn't think I can handle it. It's like I'm still a little kid. I'm not going to weigh in on this. This is between you and your dad, and you two of you should talk about it anywhere that isn't here. I'm sure Oscar is doing this to protect you. You're right, Oscar should treat you like an adult. How do you know there isn't a ghost? At this rate, I'd be surprised if your house wasn't haunted. <laughs> now nah, we're going hard on them. At this rate, I'd be surprised if your house wasn't haunted. I've seen some real bad things in this town. Even if it isn't a ghost, it doesn't mean Oscar is lying to you. Ugh, why are all the adults in this town such weirdos? There is no ghost. There is no such things as ghosts. Oscar is lying. Yeah, what if we break in and the ghost busts the place anyways, just to be sure? Oh my god, Zane. You can't be ghost busting if there's no ghost. Also, Rosalina lives there. She can't, like, break into her own house. That's true. <laughs> there's no ghost that you know of, but I bet we could figure out how to bust it if it's actually real. And if it isn't real, well, problem solved. You know, Rosalina, you could always stay over at my house until Stella ghost busts your place. We have a finished basement with a pull-out couch. Aw, oh, Alexis is kind of like the outsider of this group, it seems, too. Why are we talking about this like it's a thing? It's not a thing. There's no ghosts. Fuck off, Becca. Oh my god. Oh, the music stopped. Whether there's ghosts in Oscar's house is a question for a time when we're not in immediate danger. And to ruin everyone's fun, the answer is probably no. There's not a ghost. Now I'm going to drag my shithead brother back home and suggest you kids leave this empty mind before someone gets black lung or crushed by rocks, or meets any one of many terrible fates people tend to meet in abandoned mines. Kanika is interrupted by a pair of thunderous knocking. That wasn't me, I swear. Then what was it? Come on, Stella, didn't you have a whole list of perfectly natural explanations for a scary mine? It's Tommy Knockers for sure. I know this isn't why we came down here, but we've got to check it out. Stella. So if you don't have a camera, we're not going down there. <laughs> I know, I know, but weird stuff's hap been happening around here for the past few days. Well, if this is our chance to get an actual solid lead, the stakes could be higher. Do you have no sense of self-preservation? If you guys are going after something spooky, count me in. Nobody's going deeper into the mine. Nobody's staying in the mine. We're all leaving. Please, before my heart gives out. It'll be fun, Neeks. It will not. Wait a second. Where'd three of you run off to? Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? They actually ran in. This game is not afraid to kill people, guys. <laughs> I'm going to lose some of you. Wow, Kanika. Maybe if you weren't still scared of the dark or whatever, you would have noticed them sneak off. <laughs> I noticed them sneak off and like, I've been zoning out the whole time. We've been here. Oh, hey. They must have squeezed through the child-sized tunnel. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang, I've always wondered where that goes. I've never been able to get these hips through there. Okay, Stella. That's what we're talking about. Oh my god, her head just popped out. Becca's head pops out from the tunnel's entrance. We are not about you let you come in here and ruin our good time. The mine is safe. I've been here a million times. Yeah, Becca says we're safe, then we're totally safe. I just, whatever. Come on, you two. I know a cool spot this way. Okay, I think we can catch up to them if we just follow their voices. Do you want to... 
Do you want to take these two out of here while Levi and I track them down, Nix? Look, I know I made a bit of a fuss about not liking this place, but I'm not about to leave you two alone down here. What if something bad happens and I'm not here to help? Or what if you run into something totally normal down here that you think is a ghost and I miss out on my chance to figure out what it actually is? Are you getting interested in it? Alright, knuckleheads. If I don't escort you two out of here myself, can I trust you two to actually leave and go home? Yeah, sure. I can never fit in that tunnel anyways. They have crossed a barrier that I cannot, so my time here is up. <laughs> I kind of like Zane. He's just a little stoner. But only because Stella promised me a ghost hunt tomorrow. Whatever. I still have to do my dailies anyways, and the service down here sucks, not the gaming. Good, now go. Miles and Zane quickly head back towards the entrance. Alright, let's get this over with. Explore at Booksmart. I've read a lot of stories about cave rescuers needing their own rescues. Should we get some professionals down here? That would be smart. What's the point of going on after them? They don't want to listen to us? We could just all leave. Do I have to come with you? Mystical, there's no way around it. I can feel the depths call out to us. We are destined to answer their calls. <laughs> I clicked it immediately. Please save the spooky one-liners for when we are someplace that isn't here. We can get coffee at Winnie's once we're all out of here. My treat. Thanks, Stella. You and Kenny can exchange a glance as Stella ventures forward, venture deeper into the mine. We don't have a choice. As the three of us move deeper into the mine, you hear echoes of a conversation bounce across the walls. But Be Becca, why are we doing this again? We can get into so much trouble. Alexis doesn't want to be here. Uh, we're doing this because I'm not about to take a life advice from a YouTuber and a dropout. Damn, she got you. Whoa, that was so uncalled for. I didn't drop out. I'm going back to vet school as soon as my family doesn't need me here. I I don't know. I think Stella's kind of cool. Her videos are really neat. We at least have a chance at saving Rosalina and Alexis. Becca is too far gone, but she's going to do anything out of spite anyways. So, oh, come on. She doesn't even have a sponsor. What kind of YouTube doesn't have a sponsor? Uh, <laughs> shots fired. I mean, not yet, but I'm in talks with Meat Rice and I make plenty of ads from and donations. Yikes, are you okay, Kanika? Thanks, Stella. Meat Rice? That's a big deal. Oh man, I wish they were gossiping about me. I'm just glad they're not gossiping about me. I don't want kids to gossip about me. Shout out Meat Rice, though. Thanks, Stella. Meat Rice? That's a big deal. They're like on everyone, everyone's big podcast. Thank you, thank you. It feels like a really big step for the channel. Uh, we'll check on Kanika, too. Yikes, are you okay, Kanika? Yeah, it's fine. I just can't believe we have to deal with that Becca girl slandering us while we're sticking our necks out for her. God, I hate her. It's the responsibility of being an adult. Normally, I just say she's just a kid, but wow, if she doesn't have an uncanny ability to go right for the jugular. Uh, press on. I don't, don't want to hear what she has to say about us. You quietly press on. Another knock. Closer. Interrupts your thoughts. Followed by another. Followed by another. Is it just me or is that knocking coming from the same direction as those kids? Yeah, it's not just you. Okay, that knocking is starting to freak me out. Calm down, Rosalina. It's just mine sounds. Did you guys see that? No, no, it was just a shadow. There's no reason to get freaked out. I didn't see anything. I saw it. Oh, it was with them. Gotcha. Shut up. There's nothing down here. Stop trying to scare me. That sounds just the act of mine echoing through the walls, right? Are we sure the tunnel they went through is going to meet back up with us? What do they see? What if they're the ones doing the knocking? What if this is just a terrible prank? Tommy knockers, those poor kids. I knew something down here was a bad idea. I can't believe they're making us do this. They better get grounded with all this is said and done. We're getting closer. Let's keep moving. There's so many options. We'll bookmark it. No, nah, it's the Tommy knockers. I'm sure of it. Tommy knockers aren't real, but there's a real. Some people think they're making those sounds. And it's uh, not a coincidence that the whole Tommy Knockers myth is tied to mind collapses. Uh, are we sure this is going to loop? I mean, we're still able to hear their voices. At the very least, we're still heading in the same direction. Let's keep moving. We're getting closer. Let's keep moving. As you progress deeper into the mind, the knockings grow more frequent. It's still distant, but it's much louder than before. All right. Let's relax here. The tunnel ends abruptly in front of you. A century old ladder is the only way forward. In the darkness beyond, you can still hear the echoes of terrified teens. Their panic arguing bouncing down the pitch black corridors. Mystical. The pit radiates rage, a white hot anger. It hates you. But at the heart of it, you can sense something else. The quiet hum of a darker presence. The heart calls to you, desperate to be witnessed. Oh man, I was just about to be like, okay, what if we like head back out and then we get some professionals? Because I think descending even deeper into the mine past this point is in over our heads. So I was like, we can let Tabitha know and it'll distract her from us searching about Wayne. But then you throw that mystical at me. It's begging to be witnessed by me. I have to see what it is. Well, it looks like the only way forward is that pit and it sounds like there's somewhere down there. 
I've never been this far in. It looks like a death trap. Are you sure we should go down there? You can wait up here, Nix. I don't think I can climb down and hold Gretchen. All right, I'm not going to argue with you. That liar looks older than all of us combined. Good luck. All right, let's do this. Sure you can get your hips through there? <laughs> Stella hoists herself over the edge and begins to climb down. Follow Stella into the pit. You walk down the ladder. Stay safe, Levi. I'm pretty sure this is the way back. Come on. Pretty sure. I thought you'd been down here before. Okay, maybe I didn't get this far in, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I definitely remember the way out. Hurry, I don't want to be down here anymore. I think it was actually this way. Oh, shut up. No one ever wanted you to come with us anyway. Damn. Becca. Okay, Alexa, stand up for Rosalina. All right. Yeah, they're close, all right. It sounds like they're really lost. The voices around you, those of the teens and your companions, sound odd, distant. Step forward. There is something in the darkness before you that's much louder, though you don't hear it. What is that sound? It's like moaning. Walk towards it. You don't hear it, but you can feel it in your chest, a desperate need to perceive and be perceived. Wrap yourself in the darkness of the pit. Hey, are you all right, Levi? Bear witness. Stella reaches for your shoulder, but not before the light from your phone illuminates. I didn't read it quick enough. What is that? You said we wouldn't use this shipment. Standing man? You know it was compromised. We couldn't afford to wait on new wood, Charles. We had to go ahead with it. Oh, I can see how the mine collapse. Am I clairvoyant? Oh shit, wait, no, clairvoyant's future. I, I, can I see in the past? It's still sturdy enough, it's, you'll get the job done. Levi, Levi, are you all right? Oh, thank God you're alive. It looked like you had a seizure or something and then you just conked out. There, okay, Kanika. Thank God. Okay, don't move a muscle. I don't want you straining yourself while you're still recovering from what whatever that was. Kanika and I are going to try and get you help. We'll be back soon, I promise. Don't die on me, all right? Please don't leave me, Stella. <laughs> you fade back out of the consciousness as your companion clambers out of the pit, intent on your rescue. Oh my god. You raise on your elbows, head still swimming from the visions, your surroundings coming back into focus. Your head throbs as knocking continues, now magnitudes more intense than ever. Though it, you once again hear the panicked voices of bickering teenagers echoing down the stone corridors. Becca, you're just getting us more lost. It's this way. If you're so sure, then why don't you just leave? I can't believe I let Alexis talk me into inviting you in the first place. Becca, I'm just trying to help you. I said go. Okay, I will. Alexis, you don't have to go with her. You know that, right? I, um, pick a side, Alexis. I'm sure Becca knows where we're going. She wouldn't just lie. S sorry, Rosalina. Damn, Alexa's gonna get fucked too because of that. The increasingly desperate voices of the teens are drowned out by thunderous knocking. I probably should use better wording with that. You can, you can practically feel the ground shake beneath you and you can almost see the walls vibrate with the intensity of the hellish sound. This beat kind of go crazy. As you settle more into your senses, Rosalina appears in the passageway to your left. She's out of breath and it looks like she's been crying. I'm so sorry I snuck off like that. I just wanted Alexis to think I was cool. Aww. The entire cavern shakes with the sound of a rock fall. This place, at least part of it, is coming apart. Becca and Alexis are still down there. We can't just leave them here. I know which way they were going. They'll listen to you this time, I promise. Please, I don't want them to die. Look smart. Don't be a hero. Heroes and mind collapses are just more bodies that need to be recovered. Are you telling me that my game is going to be over if I make the wrong choice? Another dusting of debris falls from the ceiling. You don't have long until this mind collapses on you. Take Rosalina and leave. Go after Beck and Alexis. Okay. I know my book smart says to leave and none of this music is helping, but at least Stella already got out, right? I'm saving and I'm going back here if this doesn't work out and leads to an ending because I do want to play more of this game. Go after Beck and Alexis. Achievement, no man left behind. Go back to save Beck and Alexis. Okay, let's do this. Thank you, they're back this way. Hurry. Rosalina runs back the way she came. Follow her. You run after her. The mines shake with each new thunderous blow as bits of rock and dust fall off the ceiling and scatter to the floor around you. I, th I thought you knew the way out. I thought you'd been down here a million times already. I was making it up, okay? We're coming, just stay where you are. Can you see those things, Rosalina? Can only I see them? Sorry, this might freak her out, okay. She ignores your questions, singularly focused on pushing forward for her friends. You follow suit. Are one of you gonna 
fall or are you just crying? But Rosalina came back. I don't want to die down here. Then move. Come on, the way isn't too far. Oh, look who wants to leave the mine now. Grab them and start running. That's not the time. Uh, if I grab them, that means they probably won't fall, right? I, I feel like then move is obviously the smart decision. One of these bitches is going to fall. We're going to grab them. You reach forward and forcibly grab Becca and Alexis, silently pulling them behind you. You quickly push your way back towards the entrance, pieces of fallen rock littering the path behind you. As you reach the pit, you and Rosalina direct Becca and Alexis to the ladder. They start climbing. Climb out of the pit? You follow suit and start climbing close behind. Why couldn't you have just listened to someone other than yourself, Becca? I'm sorry, okay? God. Continue towards the entrance. You push forward, your burning muscles giving way to pure adrenaline. To your horror, you can see cracks forming on the walls of the tunnel. Come on, you've got to go faster. We're almost there. I can see the entrance. Rosaline is behind them. Is this going to be one of those things where it's like, because I didn't get out with Rosalina, they're going to punish me by Becca and Alexis getting out and Rosalina not? I don't think I can handle that on my conscious, man. Your surroundings quake as the mind collapses around you. Fuck. I knew they were going to punish me like that. Damn it. <laughs> and then the knocking fades and you feel safe, having arrived back at the entrance in one piece. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Rosalina, are you okay? Clearly she's not okay, idiot. Shut up, Becca. It was your idea to go down there in the first place. This is your fault. Cough. This really hurts. Yeah, you're in shock. Stella and Kanika pop their heads through the mine entrance. I think I hear voices in there. Oh my god. Rosalina, can you hear me? We're gonna get you out of here, okay? Stella already called an ambulance. But, but that means the cops are gonna come. Your kids, you're fine. They're gonna know I was drinking, Becca. I don't fuck with Becca at all, dude. They're gonna know we went in there to drink, right? Becca, that doesn't matter. If my dad finds out, he'll kill me. He can't know. In a panic, Becca runs for the entrance and pushes her way through. Hey, pick your friends better. That's all you need out of this situation. Don't worry about her. Rosalina, she's being an asshole. One of us should wait by the gate to make sure they can find us up here. I'm going to get Tabby. All right, I'll go down to the gate. Rosalina, I'm so sorry. I'll be back soon. We're going to get you out of here and you're going to be just fine, okay? Levi and Alexis will keep you safe until then. Uh, I don't know if you'll be just fine. Am I gonna die? Rosalina, don't say things like that. Just stay awake. Mystical death is a natural part of life, Rosalina, but you're not dead yet. Of course you're not gonna die. The ambulance will be here any minute. You're gonna be okay. Just keep breathing. Probably. Sorry. Oh my god, probably sorry is crazy. We're all gonna die eventually. I don't know, maybe. If there's ever not a time for my mystical, it's death is a natural part of life, Rosalina, but you're not dead yet. Uh, I think we need to reassure her. I don't think she can handle that, right? Like, she, clearly she's never coming back here. She almost got her fucking leg taken off. Of course you're not gonna die. The Ambies will be here any minute. Th thanks, Levi. Thank God. Rosalina, if breath comes in quick, irregular bursts. If I don't make it to tell my dad I'm sorry, don't be thinking like that. It's a leg injury. Oops. It's like her leg is fucked. Absolutely. Or even like her ankle is fucked. Her leg might be okay. But this shit's probably never going to be the same. But I don't think you'll die from this. Maybe you're bleeding out. I don't know. I, I'm the one who has something to be sorry about. This is all me and Beck's fault. We should have never gone down there. Correct. It's not your fault. I went down there because I wanted to. Somewhat correct. <laughs> Rosalina pauses, catching her breath. Thank you, Levi. I'm glad everyone else made it out okay. Couldn't have done it without your help. Please stop talking. You're gonna use all your energy. Alexis is right. You're very mature for your age. Anyone else would have done the same. I'm just sorry I couldn't do more. You should stop hanging around Becca. She bullied both of you into doing things you didn't want to do. Whatever happens tonight, you should remember it, Alexis. And that's why you shouldn't drink under age. Ugh. It's a tie between, like, Alexis is right, you're very mature for her age, because that's comforting, and you should stop hanging out with Becca. She bullied both of you. Being, like, an adult in this situation, right? I have to be reassuring, knowing that, like, she's going to be okay, even if she's probably not going to be okay. But I still need to be strong with them, right? You should stop hanging out with Becca. What are you trying to do? Make this some sort of after-school special? A little bit. They're probably right, though. If I were just smart and brave like you, I wouldn't have let Becca drag me down here. And you wouldn't have had to go after us and then you wouldn't you wouldn't be you're the nicest person i know rosalina this just isn't fair rosalina can you hear me yeah still awake just hurts like hell Ugh. sorry i shouldn't be pushing you to talk i'll just hold your hand until they come back with help 
I was thinking about like trying to move the rocks, but I think like if this is like pinching off like an artery or something and it's keeping it shut, I don't think you'd want to move the rock, right? Not until she could get medical attention. The problem is she's a kid and not an adult. She doesn't have the same resilience. Alexis grasps the Rosalina's hand. Tears streak down both of their cheeks as you sit in silence together, waiting for the long, anxious moments to pass before help arrives. Some of my men are on the way with rock lifts. We'll get you out of there soon. Hey, Tabitha. Levi, I'll be having a word with you. Go ahead. Nah, nah, go ahead, bitch. Because none of this is my fault. This shit ain't on me. If anything, I was being a hero. And I know what they said about the booksmart. Fuck my booksmart. I was a hero. They're of a hero. Jesus H. Christ, you weren't kidding about the emergency. It's still a little bit for the ambulance. The nearest depot is over in Brevard, so it'll be at least another half hour. No, she's fucked. Nah, she's fucked. You heard the man. You have to half an hour to get out of here. Move it. Oh, we have to get her out. Okay. Rosa, sweetie, I'm here. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You don't have to be sorry. It's okay. We're all here. You can hang on, Rosalina. I know you can. Appreciate it, Alexis. Tabitha's men quickly get to work and manage to pull Rosalina out from the rubble just as the ambulance arrives. It looks like she'll maybe be okay. Sir, I'm afraid there's no space in the back. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure Kanika will give him a ride, right? Like, what do you mean I can't ride with her? You're better off driving behind us. We're headed to the Brevard, so it's quite a ways. Is she going to be okay? She's going to make it, right? Please, God. Yes, sir. I promise you. We're going to do everything we can to keep her stable. Her vitals are looking good. Rosalina, my poor baby. I'll be there as fast as I can, okay? I promise you won't be alone. I love you, Dad. The paramedics load Rosalina into the back of the ambulance and drive off. Oscar approaches you off to the side and please talk to Tabitha and her mom. What the hell happened in there? Explore. Oscar, I'm so sorry. At least nobody died. It's like the seams of reality are fraying here. Nobody is safe. It was Tommy Knockers or something supernatural. I don't know. They brought down the mine. It was just a horrible accident. Nobody could have known this would happen. Just teens being teens. We did our best to get them out of there. What happened in there at goddamn after school special is what happened. That Becca girl is a terrible influence in what happened. I don't think I need to fucking go that hard on Becca where I'm like complaining about her to adults, right? Like it was just her friends to make better decisions. Kids are still gonna be kids and i'm sure they'll end up forgiving her but they should definitely not be friends with her after something like this we'll tell the truth i guess just teens being teens we do our best to get them out of there no no this was no teenager's fault it's a parent's job to make sure their kids don't deliberately put themselves in these situations rosalina was mad at me and instead of fixing the thing that was driving her away i ignored it this is my fault ah uh that's a noble take of you. And I don't actually think you're wrong, but I don't think you can take blame for it. I think that's just a solution. Oscar, I'm the parent here. I'm sure she thinks I'm making things up about her house being haunted, but I've seen things I can't explain and it's only gotten worse over time. She told us about it down in the mine. For what it's worth, I believe you. No comment, but after tonight, I don't know. Once you're back from the hospital, we can check it out for you. Thanks, Stella, that means a lot. I, I've got to go. Yeah, drive after your daughter. <laughs> Mr. Mister Gutierrez, is it okay if I come too? I want to be there for her. Oh, please take Alexis. Thank God. Of course, Alexis. It'll be good for her to see a friendly face. She needs a friend right now. The two of them head over to Oscar's car and drive off. Do you think Rosalina is going to be okay? I can't believe you left me down there. Ditchlings, your vision. The entities in the mine. What happens now? Uh, your vision. Mystical, there was a stone carving on the wall of the pit that showed me what happened to this place. Charles Shaw was set up. I like the way they looked at me. No way, dude. It was a monster. I mean, the Scarlets were monsters too. They still are. What am I saying? I don't believe in visions. Whatever you saw was probably just auto-suggestion. <laughs> I don't know, Neeks. Levi had like a seizure next to a creepy stone carving. It was like something out of a movie. Just because they passed out or had a seizure doesn't mean it wasn't auto-suggestion. The entities in the mine. I saw something down there, like the shadows of dead miners. I'm pretty sure I saw some ghosts down there. Did you guys not see them? Everything that happened down there centered around the main chamber where I saw the carving. Are you sure those were Tommy knockers? I saw something down there, like shadows of dead miners. They were right behind Stella, right before you two left, and they followed Rosalina and I when we went after Becca and Alexis. Did you not see them? <laughs> not the jaw drop. Whoa, I didn't see anything other than the two of you and that carving. That's super weird. I don't want to doubt what you experienced, and I couldn't see anything down the pit, but you might have just been primed to see things. All right, Kanika, you're in denial. You know, now that I think about it, that totally fits the profile for some of the Tommyknockers stories. 
What if they're actual bona fide ghosts? Oh, Stella, are you sure those were Tommy knockers? Depends on what you mean by sure. Is anyone really sure of anything? They fit the description pretty well, and I didn't and I don't know what else they'd be. I have no idea what happened in there. I need to do some reading on mind collapses, I guess. I like that whenever something happens, these two are very like information focused. Like, let's go find out and let's go read about it. I think that's a good way to be. Everything that was happened down there was centered around the main chamber where I saw that carving. Stella showed me a photo. Weird stuff. Yeah, really weird. I don't think there were dishlings. What happens now? What happens now is we have a word, all of us. What the hell are you three doing here? I thought I'd give you very specific instructions, Levi. Stay in one place while I finish my meetings. And I thought I told you to shut the fuck up talking to me, Tabitha. I'm an adult. I can do what the fuck I want. I was only gone for like an hour, and here you are at the site of what was almost a deadly mind collapse. Tabby, come on. It's not Levi's fault. Cell is right. If it's anyone's your if it's anyone's fault, it's yours. You have an abandoned mind on your property that was barely even boarded up. Ah, uh, I got good friends. They said fuck you, Tabitha. It was only a matter of time until something like this happened. If anything happens to Rosalita, it's on you, Tabitha Scarlet. Ha! How dare you? It's not like I put up a big neon sign saying a cool place for teens to hang. It's clearly not safe. You three were up here with them. Why don't you do something to get them out of there sooner? You did our best, Tabitha. Cool it, Tabitha. We've probably, we're probably the reason you have one kid in an ambulance instead of five buried alive. Cool it, Kanika. I think Tabitha has every right to be upset right now. Cool it, everyone. Let's not let our emotions get the best of us. Kanika's right. You should have boarded up better. Pointing fingers won't turn back time. Tabitha's just another coal baron. There's no point in arguing with her. Oh no, we're going in on Tabitha. Fuck Tabitha. Cool it, Tabitha. We're the reason you have one kid in the ambulance instead of five buried alive. I, ugh, fine. You're right. At least nobody died. Probably. What a heartfelt apology. Come on, guys. What's the point of arguing like this? I know it can feel cathartic to point fingers and yell, but what's it going to accomplish other than bruised egos? I mean, she is right. You're right. Come on, we're leaving. Now, hold on a minute, Miss Scarlet. Not these fucking schmucks. Oh, it's a different guy. Mind if we have a quick word with your cousin, miss, in private? Okay, fine. Just make it quick. And don't you dare try and pull anything on them. They did nothing wrong here. Ah, thanks, Tabby. Appreciate that one. Ladies, I'm afraid that means you too. Don't you need to talk to us? We witnessed this too. Oh, sure, but that can wait. We know where to find y'all. What a coincidence running into you two nights in a row. This is my colleague, Deputy Derrickson. I remember you from the little puking incident in the diner yesterday. Apologies for my absence last night. It was my special bowling night, you see. A man has to have his me time. But I was briefed on the events of last night, even though we're still not sure if what went on could be considered a crime. Duke has been missing since then, though we've found neither hide nor hair of him. Could be he's just on an extended hunting trip. It wouldn't be the first time he's done something like that. I was told the footage showed his supposed body. But we couldn't get that camera working, so no way to confirm until we track him down. Now I understand both of these were terribly unfortunate accidents that had nothing to do with you being in the area, but as officers of the law, you have to understand that we get a little suspicious when we see the same face multiple times in a row. And uh, we have to ask, what exactly were these teenagers doing in a sh shuttered mine owned by your family? And why were you down there with them? Don't you dare say your family. Like, I have any any ties to them at all. I've never been to this place. This is my first time here. I barely knew Tabitha. I'll get to your questions, but we also need to talk about the man that's been stalking me. This town is haunted. You're out of your depths here. Why are you asking me this? It was a mine collapse. We saw some teens sneak into an abandoned mine, so we went after them. If it wasn't for me, they'd all be dead. I don't have to talk to you. I know my rights. A cab. I don't have to talk to you, I know my rights. Unless you decide to accuse me of something, I'm not answering any more of your questions. And for the record, I haven't done anything wrong. My apologies, Levi, just being thorough. Our duty as officers of the law, but we'll leave you be. Clearly there's not much to be discussed. We'll be in touch. I do kind of want to talk to them because it is a game and I don't actually care about my rights in a video game <laughs> for my main character. Uh, I wanted to see if I could try and get some information out of them, but a cab all the way. Deputy Derrickson tips his hat to you. The two officers wander back towards the mine, Derrickson taking notes as they examine the scene. You make your way towards Stella and Kanika. I just can't believe two nights in a row. Is it my fault, Neeks? Oh, this is going to be hard on Stella. Stella, no, this is just an awful coincidence. It's not your fault. Oh, hey, guess the cops are done with you. What, are they going to take you from for being present at an accident? Sorry if they gave you a hard time. Small Tom Caps, you know? Oh, I know. 
Always blame everything on drifters, even acts of God, I guess. Excellent. You didn't get arrested. Now, come on. Let's get back to the estate. I'd like to get some rest before I have to deal with the fallout of everything that happened tonight. Alternatively, what if I go back to Stella's and you go to the estate? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, okay, Levi? I'd really rather you didn't. If you're gonna run around almost getting killed every night, keep my cousin out of it. Fuck you, Debbie. Your cousin is adult, Tabitha. That's what I've been saying. On God. Okay, I fuck with Kanika heavy now. I know we were a little hesitant in the beginning, but she's really grown on me. Kanika is that bitch. Not while they're under my roof. Nope, that's wrong, actually. And I will no longer be under your roof if that's how you think. Come on, let's go. As if to illustrate her point, Tabitha grabs your arm, dragging you towards her car. See you tomorrow, guys. I'll tuck you when you're back. I can walk to the car on my own. Are you kidnapping me? Silently follow Tabitha. Are you kidnapping me? It's so childish, but I think it's going to get the outcome that I want. Are you kidnapping me? Sure. It's so childish. Don't be ridiculous. I'm taking you home. You can practically feel Tabitha roll her eyes as she drags you to the car. Damn it. <laughs> Tabitha doesn't... She looks pissed. That doesn't, Tabitha doesn't say a word as the car cuts along the darkened road. Try to keep an eye on the surrounding wilderness as she drives, wary of what may lurk behind the tree line. Sorry about today. How are you holding up? I'm doing terrible, by the way, in case you want to know. Why do you treat Stella like that? Didn't you two used to be friends? You and Kanika really don't seem to get along. Poor Rosalie and poor Oscar. I don't appreciate being dragged off like that. Ooh, I'm going to pry. Why do you treat Stella like that? Didn't you two used to be friends? I don't want to talk about Stella. And it's none of your business anyway. You and Kanika don't seem to get along. She pushes my buttons. Is there some kind of history there? Or I like her drop it. Nah, fuck you, Tabitha. Is there some kind of history? Is there some kind of history there? Or no, now quit talking. I need to focus on the road. How are you holding up? I'm doing terrible out of the way. Poor Selena, poor Oscar. Focus on the road, my ass. It's been a long day, really. Are you really going to make a fuss about me bringing you back to the state? After all the havoc you've caused, you should count your lucky stars you still have a place to sleep in tonight. No, uh, no, you know what? I am going to make a fuss. I'm doing terrible, by the way, in case you wanted to know. Noted. Uh, I'm definitely not apologizing for today. I genuinely don't really care how she is, so... Poor Rosalina, poor Oscar. You should have kept tighter reins on that girl. I never got into any trouble like this when I was a teen, and I have Pearly Ann to thank for it. Hated it at the time, but the strictness paid off. Ugh, what am I even telling you this for? Well, we are bonding. You can tell me stuff I'd like to know more about you. I don't really think that parents are to blame here. You're right. There's a lot of adults who should have done a better job tonight. <laughs> That's That feels backhanded. You can tell me stuff I'd like to know more about you. I do want to know more about her, though. I don't want to bond with her. About Pearly Ann, for that matter. Tabitha says nothing. Mouth suddenly sealed as she fixes her eyes on the road ahead. You're right, there's a lot of dunces that could have done a better job tonight. I hope that's as backhanded as it feel like it is. Exactly. People who are ready to be parents shouldn't be parents. And clearly there are some parents who aren't ready. That's not what I meant. Take Oscar. Take our... There are tons of people more qualified to be parents who can't even conceive. And here he is having a kid at 19. And clearly letting her do just whatever the hell she she wants is oscar only 19 i thought he was like 30 oh my god i didn't know he was only 19 and look where that got her even if she doesn't lose that leg she's going to carry what happened tonight for the rest of her life oh no i think her leg's fucked it's not fair that's entirely out of line what's wrong with you oscar's house is haunted tabitha i don't think it's fair to pass judgment yeah you're right it isn't fair remain silent nah we'll fight her i'll throw hands tabitha goes quiet it seems that it's all you're gonna get from her on this damn okay maybe i shouldn't have gone so hard that i could have like drawn out the the talk your eyes wander back to the tree lines you and tabitha sink back into silence <laughs> <laughs>